Um, yes, so if we start service oriented architecture, I guess that I guess there's a, a whole journey about how all of this worked out and what has changed and everything like that. So there's a, a lot of things that are going on there that's quite interesting um, from from a developer perspective. Um, I guess it started way back when you have had corporate or, or remote procedure calls in the mainframe. Then you got uh, SAP world where you had the uh, RFCs you could call remotely and build application with these things. Uh, and then I guess at, around that time you also went into the service or you ended up into, or the um, the object oriented architecture where you were able to uh, build applications on yeah on classes and and that kind of thing and then you got the yeah the the service oriented architecture and SAP's attempt to do that was uh, enterprise service enterprise services where they had tried to, to say, okay, if you want to create a, a sales order, you need these things and you want uh, these, a partner and a partner needs all of these things. So it became kind of a monster. And I, I hope, I guess uh, SP at that point in time wanted to everybody to say, well, service oriented architecture is, or enterprise services is the way to go. And we want to, if we want to, make in the interface we want to support uh, this uh, monster of uh, 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 purchase order or whatever it is in, in our interface and obviously that was a little challenging for any provider to to fulfill and I guess also getting functional consultants involved in it was uh, a kind of, of, of challenging because they had um, yeah, the, the functional consultant needed to, to figure out how do we deal with these uh, these things. Um, and when we can just use the IDOC, we know how to send the IDOC, we know how to enhance and everything like that. So it's like, it, it had to take a lot of uh, special development for, for people to, to start using it. Um, now or then later we, we saw the the o data and that kind of movement where it was a different kind of uh, i guess the, in the in the o data you got more the, this uh, discovery uh, self discovering protocol that you can say okay if if you want to send your purchase order you can show me what are the different fields uh, related to it i'm not sure if anyone is really using that but i guess it's it's a little different architecture where you don't have the, the same um, perspective in and then if we just want to go full circle back uh, i think that the latest one i've just been been hearing about is for instance on amazon you got the serverless architecture and on the serverless architecture one of the the concepts about that is um you want to build functions that so you you're just deploying a function which is a, basically a function module or something like that that may consume some different services different functions so you can actually build functions and applications that are just leveraging this um and the, the smart thing about this from from a developer or from a deployment perspective is you can create these functions and they got all the resources that you would ever need and once you want more you can just um, add well you don't have to consider how many instant times this function is called at the time unless you have some limit or whatever it is on it um, but that means you can scale your application on a completely different way and just send these things out. Uh, but I guess that's not really service oriented architecture or this kind of architecture, but, um, at, but at least it's kind of going back to function models and the way we built there, just bear in mind that we are not running on the same server necessarily, but it's just function modules we're calling. Um, so that I guess was the, the architecture of the full 
movement from from one into another and i guess if if you have been in in this game for a long period of time you'll just say hey all of these things are actually the same it's just different way of packaging and maybe this kind of uh, gardener slide we want to be competitive and have some of these cool features that that people are requesting um as as a, a way this uh, this uh, we're dealing with this so yeah uh but but i think from an sp perspective uh, service oriented architecture is kind of dead you don't see anyone uh using it 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 anymore for for these kind of uh, purposes um so I, yeah i think that's uh, uh these things so so yeah i know some a few companies uh, and i know one consultant that has been really that had seen is a kind of strict about saying okay sap thinks uh, these kind of services is, is cool so we want to move all our functionality to that and if we can do it with a uh, enterprise service we want to do it obviously it, it it has some more features than you do in in an idoc but from from a support perspective and everything like that it may still be uh, relevant to to use it um, yeah so if you're using idocs already and is thrilled with that then continue doing that if you're going to build new interfaces consider whether or not an enterprise service would be worth uh, doing um, and yeah i guess in in the s4 they're just going to to sus, sus, yeah send all data all interfaces would be o data um o data views on on the table so at least when you're exposing data it's quite easy to to read all of the data from your ecc system or s4 system uh, because it's all o data on hana services so yeah it's a yeah it's a little well I guess old data is, is the the different protocol where just saying hey expose me as as a web client data not uh, send a service order and and do backend interactions with it so that was the the big explanation of this <laughs> yes yeah so 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 you had to have some i guess you had to have some kind of a function guide that was also a bit technical and that wanted to to drive this and i think that's also one of the the, the things that we as people are kind of habit driven so whenever we have done something before we want to do it again and again uh, and doing a lot of the same things uh, so we don't want to invest a lot of time in figuring out how these new things uh, work. So um, I have my my Fitbit on and just this thing about about habits. So I I've, I've uh, broken this a couple of times. Uh, so so around the rim it's uh, it's getting loose and or it's 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 breaking up. So I have to to get it replaced. And then I was contacting the support here a couple of weeks ago and they said, hey, it's it's broke again. And they said, okay, we want to send you the, the black one, uh, but uh, it's on, on back order. And in the meantime, we'll send you this uh, sports band that may not just be my color. Or, oh, you you cannot see my because you're not on Facebook, but it's a uh, orange uh, coral color and it's not really pretty. Uh, but I think they knew that if I did not use my Fitbit for a couple of weeks, I would probably stop using it because, well, I got out of the habit and I had to figure out how to do it again and again. And I think it's a lot the same with, with developers. If we have figured out how to, to transmit a sales order, we don't want to invest a lot of effort into to something that's promising or whatever unless we really think this is the way to go i want to uh, do and attempt and figure out how all of this works um 
So I, th I think that's a little about our human nature, about what we are doing and, and why it's, uh, it's relevant um, and, and why we're not seeing more people using enterprise services. Um, and maybe also a part of that uh, enterprise services is um, it's not been the uh, when when it was initially released it was released in in blocks of, of small functions like now you can create a purchase order now you can create these functions and I think that delay took a long time because well if I could just use it for a subset of my business process, it's not worth investing the, the time in maybe. Um, so uh, I think that that's also a part of this, that it's, it's a lot of things to, to get up and running before you really get started with it.